Are you looking for the best grow lights in your budget? Well, in today's video, we break down the top five best grow lights that are available on the market. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, quality, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. At number five, Aerogarden Bounty Basic Indoor Garden with LED Grow Light. If you want a set it and forget it indoor garden system, complete with an LED Grow Light and self-watering feature, you'll love the Aerogarden Bounty Basic Indoor Gardening. We tested this hydroponic system for three months in our lab and six months at home and found it to be an effortless way of growing herbs and vegetables indoors each time. We only needed to spend about five minutes a week tending to our plants. Overall, we think this system is especially helpful for those who may forget to water, feed, or turn the light on for their plants, as you can set up the timer and be alerted on the touch screen when food or water runs out. And if you are going on vacation, you don't have to worry about finding someone to water your plants. During each round of testing, the setup was simple and took less than 15 minutes, including preparing and planting the pods. We just had to insert the post into the garden base, followed by inserting the light into the post both clicked in to let us know that they were in properly. After we plugged in the pump cord and power cord, the touch screen lit up with a quick plant page to let us know the next steps. It also gives you an estimate of how many days until growth, the water level, and when plant food is needed. We also like the included trellis system that is also easy to click in and install like most trellises. This is to help support the plants as they grow taller. We love that each of the plant pods has a note indicating the plant's eventual height short, medium, or tall, which we found particularly helpful when figuring out where to plant them front for smaller plants, back for the taller ones. For example, the dill pod indicated that it would grow tall, and we found that it grew surprisingly tall in fact, it grew faster, and taller than any of the other pods. We had to adjust the arm of the light panel higher because the dill started to burn. Luckily, the light is easy to adjust, so you can make it taller as the plants grow as high as 24 inches. While this is one of the most expensive options on our list, we think it's worth it if you want a self-sufficient way of growing herbs and vegetables. Keep in mind that you do need to purchase special pods and plant food. However, Aerogarden does provide many different types of pods and plant food for purchase. At number four, Aerogarden Trio Grow Light. If you want a stylish fixture that adds to your decor, we love the Aerogarden Trio Grow Light. During our six months of testing, we found that it's perfect for smaller houseplants or seedlings. We used it on seedlings, succulents, and other small plants because it has three adjustable lamp heads 11 to 17 inches and blends in perfectly on a bookshelf or table. It also offers different lighting settings full spectrum, white, warm, and cool that you can choose depending on the plant stage. We think this is a great grow light for beginners because it took less than three minutes to set up and is easy to use. The timer is automatically set to 10 hours. Just tap the light to change the lighting modes or to turn it off and on. For more setting options, we downloaded the app to our phone, although it's not necessary for basic use. There, we could program the light to fade in and out at sunrise and sunset, adjust the timer, and more. And unlike other options on this list, it has a longer timer setting up to 24 hours, so you can program it for longer cycles if needed. We found the app to be hard to use at first, but once we selected our grow light type, we had no trouble using it. It does require a little bit of work to make sure the lights hit your plants at the right angle without toppling over, but we found that this just takes a few minutes to adjust. We like how wide a radius of light it produces for such a small grow light, making it good for small spaces, but also able to cover a lot of plants at once. But keep in mind that this grow light is designed for plants less than 12 inches tall, so you will need another option for larger plants. At number three, G Grow Light. For a versatile and affordable option, you can easily install into most standard sized lamps. We love the G Grow Light LED indoor flood light bulb. We've tested this bulb several times, including during our most recent at home grow light test, and think it's a great option for beginners and more experienced indoor gardeners alike. At 120 volts, it conveniently fits into most standard lamps, which means you don't have to go out and buy any additional accessories or equipment and it should blend in pretty well with your other decor. 
We originally installed it in a desk lamp that we clamped onto a bookshelf and could easily adjust to the right distance to the plants. But during our most recent test, we placed it on a floodlight socket that we connected to one of our existing grow light stands, so you can place it wherever it meets the needs of your plants. This light offers an advanced red spectrum, ideal for growing tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, fruit trees and flowers. While assembly is as simple as screwing in a light bulb, the package did come with helpful height recommendations and illustrations for high light plants. They listed tomatoes, cucumbers and peppers, as well as low light plants, leafy greens and herbs. It also recommends using the light 18 hours a day. This bulb does not come with a timer, but we were able to use one of our own. We think it's also a great option for an outdoor plant you want to bring in during the winter months. When we brought a coleus in to overwinter indoors, it did quite well. We also grew cilantro and a cucumber seedling. Unlike many other grow lights on this list, you will need to replace the bulb in a few months depending on how often it is used. However, you can buy it in packs of four, so you'll always have a replacement handy. Also, this light is similar to a flood light, so it can be bright, but can be pretty lightweight to move depending on the lamp. We did notice humming from the light bulb went on during our testing, which only got more distracting as time went on. So we recommend placing this light bulb in an area where the noise isn't disturbing. However, for a simple way to provide supplemental lighting to one plant or a few small plants, this continues to be a great choice. At number two, Soltech Solutions Grove Trademark LED Grow Light. Don't let the simple design of the Soltech Solutions Grove LED Grow Light fool you. This versatile grow light has many hidden features to help you provide the right amount of light for your seedlings or houseplants. We found it surprisingly lightweight, and it takes just a few minutes to install on a shelf or wall, or you could place it right onto a shelf. We chose to stick it onto our wall, but it also comes with hardware, so you can screw it onto the wall for a more permanent placement. We found the timer to be a bit tricky to set up, but it does come with clear instructions we misplaced them for a bit, but once we found them, they were easy to understand. You do need to set up the timer at the time you want the lighting to start, but can then program the amount of light you want in 24 hours. If you'd rather just turn it on and off when you want it, you can just tap the bulb or use the outlet on switch on the timer. We do want to note a few hiccups we had during the installation. Make sure the wall or shelf is smooth, since it may not strongly stick to textured surfaces. We installed it on a slightly textured wall and it did have a hard time staying put and did take a little paint down in the process. This proved to be an impromptu durability test since it fell onto the floor a few times and still worked perfectly with no scratches. Once we installed removable command strips, we never had any other issues. The lighting is bright, but you can change the settings by tapping on the bulb. Placing it under a shelf will also help keep the lighting from spilling into the room. You can also rotate the bulb to direct the lighting towards your plants. This isn't an ideal option if you know you will need to move your lighting as the plants grow unless you don't install it on the wall, but it's great for small houseplants or seedlings that you know you will move outside once they grow taller. After six months of use, we noticed new growth in houseplants that had struggled in the past, and our seedlings continued to thrive. At number one, Diamond Boost Grow LED Grow Light. This was our first time using a hanging grow light, and the Diamond Boost Grow did not disappoint even with the impressively inexpensive price tag. It offers lots of value and is ideal for growing herbs or plants on a cabinet or on a kitchen island. It's available in two, three, and four foot options. Plus each light has a 30 zzz an hour lifespan and a one year limited warranty. This full spectrum light bathes your plants in a yellow and green light, which is the closest equivalent to natural sunlight. It also has red lamp beads for seed germination and fruit and flower growth. You can mount it in two ways, using the built-in hooks and hanging cables or installing it directly on your ceiling. Unfortunately, the instructions weren't clear, leaving us to guess how much distance to put between the screws. During testing, our plants thrived under the grow lights, even when compared to our non-grow light test plants. We were impressed that our tomatoes, a typical summer crop grew about 16 inches. You can also adjust the height to accommodate growing plants using the attached wires if you have enough vertical space. While effective, this grow light isn't as high quality or aesthetic as other options on our list, nor does it come with a timer. Nonetheless, it withstood six months of use with no changes in quality. So given its reasonable price, we think it's worth the purchase. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and check out the description for links to updated pricing for products mentioned in the video. Until next time.